So uh, getting fit as a casual cyclist, it uh, means uh, sometimes going out for a ride, uh, even when you don't want to, yeah, you do it anyway, because, you know, it's basically just discipline. So, uh, yeah, we're about to hit it. Here we go. Yeah, so it's a good idea to pump up your tyres. Makes the climb a lot easier if you're going for a PR or a TT. Can motivate you. Feels go feels like you're going faster up the climb. But, you know, you can still build fitness with flat tyres. Yeah, so uh, always bring a water bottle. 100%. You can't forget a water bottle. And fill it up every opportunity you have. A housemate reminded me as well that, uh, yeah, if you feel cooked, you can... Uh, you shouldn't have the day off you should do do it anyway and you know do 10 to 15 minutes and then if you're absolutely still cooked after you warm up then you can kind of know but you won't know it until you do the warm-up if you're really cooked or not and can't really do the workout so i'm going down a hill right now uh on the way to the climb but uh yeah always go slow on uh the the hills um, unless you're extremely experienced you know what you're doing it's always better to go slow the smoother road smoother the road the more slippery it can be um, you get some roads in the world that are super slippery especially if they get wet you're getting a bit of the speed wobbles if they get wet you got leaves and other hazards that can be uh, pretty deadly uh, for 90% of you out there, find a training buddy or any you know anyone that will come riding with you, or you know basically, or find hot people that are faster than you and fitter than you are very good because they're probably going to be able to uh, share experiences and you know help you out, show you what it takes. But, uh, yeah. Always watch out for car doors, that could be opening. So you wanna stay, you know, a good, even a bit more than this, meter and a half away from car doors. So it just gives you a bit more protection. It's like hitting a brick wall if they open it up on you. Yeah, so the climb we're doing today is Norton Summit. How many kilometers is it, Amy? 5.5K. How, how much percent gradient? Uh, 5.2 passes. Five foot. Up two percent, like yeah, and like 280 meters of elevation. I don't know, I'm not sure. Is that right? 170 something. <laughs> oh, okay, I got pretty close. Um, yeah, so it's a nice little climb, it's like a mountain for new people. It's a really nice climb, it's a good climb to push really hard. It takes uh, 20 to 30 minutes for um, once you get into it. Maybe as a beginner, it'll take you. Uh, maybe 40 minutes and uh, yeah we're in South Australia Adelaide and uh, it's about a 20 minute ride for us to get there and yeah so we got this set up we got Amy she's trying a Brighton she's going to compare the Brighton data so it's a GPS unit to the Strava app on her phone data. Got a couple of friends that are saying that can't rely on uh, Strava data on a phone. So uh, we'll just have to uh, find out, but I think the phone's gonna be good enough. So uh, as you can see there, there's a big hill, some more hills over there. So if you can see hills, that's probably a good start to start looking for some uh, roads for you to try out on your bike. And uh, the other type of riding, you can also go for longer distances. So, you know, today I'm going to try to ride 20 kilometers or 50 kilometers or beat my PR. So, uh, you know, you can go either distance or you can go 
for a time trial up the hill. If you try and go time trial on the flats or a long distance, you can reach higher speeds. It's more safe going up the hill. So we just made it to the bottom of the climb. We're just having a mouthful of water and uh, turning on Amy's uh, GPS to try. We've got, uh, let's see, any bike tips. I would say, basically, if you're new to cycling, don't trust anyone that wears these types of shoes or clip-ins. They're very clicky, very clicky. What you want is uh, some good pedaling innovations. Link in the description. Um, but <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the best flat pedals in the world, but you can get, you know, ordinary flat pedals to begin with. It's a much lower investment, easy to, you know, get into. But uh, we got some pretty flashy bikes there, but you can start with any bike and uh, just look for a, you know, any road bike. You can pick up a nice bike for 200, 300 AUD. All right, I'm sending Amy off and uh, I'm gonna try and catch her. So uh, we'll see you shortly, Amy. You cannot be me. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So the start of the climb is just over there, runs up this way. So uh, Norton Summit Road, this is where uh, our climb starts, just around this corner. And it looks like that, this is pretty much where the time trial starts. And uh, the start of the road's pretty bumpy, but then it gets a bit better. So we'll hit it. First bit, we just got to go nice and steady. So yeah, let's hit it. And uh, one of the main pros of uh, going to the hills, you get uh, some pretty decent views. definitely want to pace yourself the first first few times really get a feel of uh, what it takes to get to the top and then really start to push harder and harder each time improve them times that uh, you get yeah I found Amy don't tell her Tell the world how you feel, Amy. <laughs> Not as good. Not as good. Alright. It's pretty hot today. 30 degrees here. So it's a good idea to whack the top off. And uh, yeah, you definitely want to prepare for the weather. If it's cold where you are, you want to definitely be wearing nice warm clothes, better to overheat than get cold, I reckon. You know, unless you're going for a PR, but uh, performance-wise and building fitness, you want to stay warm. But uh, if you're going for a PR, cooler clothing, no shirt, or lighter clothing if you're in a cold climate, can uh, help you get to the distance. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing, relax, push, relax, push, relax, push, relax, push. Just uh, let the body do the work and let the mind take autopilot. Just keep pushing. Another great idea is this. Uh, mount right here it's called a quad lock 
it allows you to attach your phone very securely to your bike. I like to play music. I'm pumping music right now while I ride. It's a little bit expensive, the quad lock. So I'd recommend going on AliExpress and uh, buying the knockoff version. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Time to embrace the pain. We're on the final stretch. Time to get out of saddle and start working. Awesome fucking views here on Norton Summit. Awesome climb right near the city. Yeah, so don't worry, after a TT, it's completely normal to lie flat on the floor. Just really take some deep breaths, get it all in. Don't care what people around you think. A lot of people are too scared to look like they're working hard. And uh, yeah, just push so hard that you have to, you know, lay on the floor. Up. Oh. and just get some deep breaths you'll get people right people that ride past or drive past and they'll stop they'll be like are you okay so it's a good idea to put your bike up like that and uh less likely people are going to think that you crashed or something but you just give them the thumbs up and uh yeah And we'll be coming in hot. Here's the finish line. You got this, Amy. Let's go. Finishing strong, look at that. Good job, good job. That's how you're meant to be breathing after a TT. And we put a lot of heart into that. Hell yeah. Woo. Absolutely done. Good job. This is the top of Norton Summit. We're pretty lucky. We've got a nice tap here for uh, filling up water bottles and the seat. Nice scenery. How was your TT, Amy? Um, I was dehydrated, I think. Yeah. How, how could you tell that? Uh, because for the same amount of... No, for the same pace, um, it felt way harder. And so I'm hydrated during the day, but if I don't hydrate properly before the night, then I notice 
my performance is going down and also you it's not just pain it's pain and it's harder than it's uh, supposed to be oh, yeah. so you feel more pain and harder feel more pain yeah. harder and you don't get uh, yeah. more PR. Out of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah Definitely the the way up's the hard work and the descent's the fun, the way down. But go nice and slow. You want to be uh, pretty safe. Uh, so yeah, just take it slow. Don't push your limits and uh, build your experience slowly.